Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix this Google account is not yet associated with a device. But before we start, hurry up and check out his offer just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're trying to install something on your mobile device and you're trying to install it via a web browser here, when you click on the install button, it's going to say this Google account is not associated with a device. So to solve this problem, what you need to do is you need to associate a Google account on your actual mobile device. So as an example, I have the screen of my phone at the left side here. So what do we exactly do? So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up Google Play Store in our phone. Now, what we need to do next is we now, now need to click on the gear, uh, the per profile icon that you see at the top, right? And in here, you want to go and click on the option that says manage or the option here that says uh, the drop down button here. Instead of clicking on the manage your Google account, you want to go and click on the drop down icon that you see next to your name. Now, in here, you want to go, go and click on add another account. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to add our Google account that you are using right now on your PC. So, in this case, uh, I'm using the following account here. So, let's go ahead and add it in here. So, let's go ahead and add the email address. So, let's go ahead, add this one, click on next, and let's go ahead and provide the credentials for this one. So, let's go ahead and add our password. Let's go ahead and click on next. And from here, let's just wait for it to load up. It's going to say add phone number. Let's go and click on skip. And let's go and click on I agree to add this uh, specific account or in our mobile device. So once you've done that, what we need to do next is we just need to go back into our PC. So I already have the screen of my PC here. So from here on, let's go and reload the actual page. Let's go and click on install. And it should now proceed on the installation. So it's going to ask us what device. Let's go and choose our device here. Click on install to proceed with installation. And from here on, you just need to provide your password to proceed with installation. And from then on, you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.